Hi everyone, welcome back to the best recapped movie. At the movie's beginning, Ava, a former army soldier who is now a professional killer puts on a little makeup and stops in front of the Paris airport as a driver to pick up her new target, Peter, an English businessman. At the same time, a girl named Camille who is eavesdropping on Ava, chases them on a motorcycle. On the way, Peter explains that he didn't start the day well and asks her clearly to sleep together. Ava accepts and says she would like to have a drink with him, and after stopping, goes to the back to join him. She refuses to drink and admits that she wants to, but after drinking, one of them will probably have to go to jail and the other to the ER. Ava says she didn't come for a drink and wants to ask a question first, and Camille keeps trying to find out about their conversation. She asks Peter what he did that someone wants to kill him for. Peter is shocked and does not take this conversation seriously until Ava shows him her gun and says she likes to give her subjects a good death. Still, she must first know what he did. Peter laughs and thinks that this is a joke from his friend. He wants to call him when Ava suddenly shoots him in the hand and asks him to answer her question. He tries to tell her what he wants, but there is no answer. Finally, he is killed by Ava, and Camille gets on her motorcycle and leaves after this. She gets out of the car, and after reading the executive code, she confirms to her superiors that the subject is closed and gets into the car. Then, at the same time as she removes her makeup and removes her wig, she informs her superiors that she has completed the mission without endangering management. She informs him that she will return to Boston. On the plane, after reviewing her performance, her salary will be deposited into her account. In Boston, she stays in a hotel where she has already booked a room, and someone order a land to keep an eye on her. Ava returns to her room after a night of exercise. Since she is recovering from alcoholism, she still has a few bottles of alcohol in the fridge. After taking a shower, a box is sent to her containing money and a gun, and it is clear that she has a mission ahead. She sneaks to her sister Judy's concert and watches her from the crowd. After her performance ends, she sees Judy after eight years, and is shocked to see her. On the way home, they talk about their father's funeral, and Alain secretly watches her. Judy is angry with her that she came to see them after eight years and says you quit drinking, and then you quit us too and admits that she loved her more when she was drunk. Then, they go to see their mother, Bobby who is hospitalized due to a heart attack. After talking for a while, Bobby says that considering that she has not seen her for a long time, she thought it would be a shock to see her because she thinks she looks old. Ava says that you are exactly the way you were. She believes that her dad was only thinking of himself. Still, Bobby says he was always pushing and had an insidious personality, just like her. After some conversation, her mother asks Judy about her fiancé, Michael. Since Michael had a relationship with Ava eight years ago, she asks her not to relate everything to her feelings if she sees him. Bobby then wants to know her job, but Ava says she has nothing to say. In her next mission, Ava goes to the Saudi capital, Riyadh, to kill a German general in what appears to be a natural death. She receives information from his superior, Duke, and approaches him at an aristocratic party. By seducing him, she separates him from his guards and takes him upstairs. By tricking him, she injects poisonous liquid between his toes and tells him that you will die slowly in 15 minutes, so that everyone will think that you had a heart attack due to work pressure. As usual again, she asks him. What did he do that they sent her to kill him when suddenly his bodyguards arrive during an unexpected event? Ava is forced to kill him with a knife and kills his bodyguards with the same. After the sound of gunshots, the German soldiers rush in, and the shooting starts. After killing them, Ava bloodied her face and tricked the soldiers into getting downstairs. Using a smoke grenade, she messed up the party to use this opportunity to escape from there. Outside the apartment, she fights with some soldiers again. Still, with her high fighting skills, she manages to kill them and finally escape. Ava returns to France and meets her superior and handler, Duke, a former army officer, in Barneville Carteret on the Normandy coast. Ava explains to Duke, who is fishing that what happened in Riyadh was a trap and asks him who was responsible. Still, he believes he was only responsible for her entry and exit. Of course, he failed and apologized to Ava for that. She says that she is capable of any murder and asks Duke if they are going to close her case. She wants to be honest with her. However, Duke explains that the management knows it is not her fault, and they don't want to do that. Then Ava says that sometimes she wants to know what she kills people for, and Duke angrily says that she shouldn't ask her subjects this question because they might not survive in another case. Duke asks if she has started drinking alcohol again, and she says no. He explained that the management asked her to be absent for a while, so he gave her two months off, and she said that I had to return to Boston. 
Ava returns to the hotel, and Alan is still watching her. After morning exercise and running, she goes to the hospital to visit her mother. During an unexpected event, she meets her ex-boyfriend Michael, and both are surprised to see each other after eight years. At this moment, Judy appears, and Bobby shouts from inside the room that someone should come and fix the TV. While Ava is fixing the TV antenna, Bobby tells them that the three of them should go out to dinner and asks Ava to take them somewhere nice because she wants to make sure that the three of them can get along. After that she reveals in her support group meeting that 10 years ago, when she was heavily addicted, she found out that her father is having a relationship with someone and said that if he kept it from her mother, she would do it herself. Instead of talking about his betrayal, her father tells her mother a lie that Ava stole money from his purse and tells the story differently so that Ava is blamed. Ava explains that at that time, she was a person with alcoholism who was arrested for stealing drugs. Because of this, her mother believed his words, and her father's behavior made her want to kill him. She kept imagining this in her mind. This is why she left home and joined the army. Duke attends a party in British Columbia where he meets the head of the organization, Simon. Simon asks him about the incident in Riyadh, and he believes it was just a hiccup. He explains that the Saudi branch finished the work so that the traces of the incident would not end up on them. However, Simon insists that Ava be eliminated, but Duke believes she is one of their best and that he trained her. In this conversation, it becomes clear that Camille is Simon's daughter. She's talking to the fucking targets! Simon shouts angrily that she is talking to her targets again like before and says he heard her voice in Paris and is sure. Duke insists that the Saudi issue was not her business and emphasizes that Ava is his executive agent and is responsible for taking care of her. Simon agrees to let her disappear for a while. Still, after the Duke leaves, his true intentions become clear. He explains to his daughter that the Saudi incident was his doing because he wanted to kill her secretly to distract the Duke. Simon says he doesn't care anymore and tells her to call a land to kill her by any means possible. Ava trains in her room and then leaves the hotel to run. Suddenly, Alan appears behind and chases her. Ava doesn't take long to notice, and he starts to run away quickly. Still, finally, Alan catches up with her, and they enter into a full-scale fight. After hitting each other, Alan tries to pick up the gun from the ground, and when he comes back, he sees that she has run away. He searches for her a little further when suddenly Ava comes out of the pond and kills him and washes her hands and face with water to clean the blood. She returns to the hotel with a confused look. She sees Duke the next day and informs him about the matter with threats. Duke still insists that the management is not looking to shut her down, and if they wanted to, they would have done it by now. He believes that the attack on her is probably the work of a trained drug addict, but Ava firmly does not believe his words. Duke approaches her with a kind attitude and says he can stay for a few days to care for her if she needs to. While crying, Ava hands over Alan's gun and leaves. That night she goes to a restaurant with Jody and Michael. Michael jokingly talks about Jody's nagging at night, and Jody, a bit drunk, gets upset about this. Then, Ava talks about her memories of this restaurant, and Judy, gets angry again since she thinks she is probably thinking about her dates with Michael. This time, she leaves the table furiously. Michael tries to defend Judy, and when Ava tells him to talk to her, suddenly Michael gets angry and says you didn't come here to fix everything. She apologizes for leaving him with nothing, and then Michael leaves. At night Judy comes to Ava and says that Michael hasn't come home yet. Ava asks her to be honest and tell her if she knows anything. She admits that he never quit gambling, of course, it was because of his gambling skills that they were able to start a business. However, she asked him to never play cards. Ava goes to an illegal casino owned by Tony and sees Michael sitting beside her and playing cards with them. She asks Michael to go with her, but Tony says he is not allowed to leave until the end of the game. As a result, Ava and the bodyguards get into a physical fight with each other. Since she is not the same person as before, she can handle them well with her unique skills. She puts the knife under Tony's throat. Tony is amazed by Ava's skills, and on the other hand, she has no choice but to let them go, but she still threatens Ava when they leave. Ava returns and asks her for 36 hours to pay all Michael's debt, then they leave. After they come out, he wants to know who she is, but she passes without any answer. Michael talks about the past and is upset with her for leaving him alone despite the deep connection and the promise of marriage she made to him. On the other hand, he is sure Tony will still come to him despite paying his debt. He says he must think of a solution to save himself and Jody. Ava sympathizes with him, but he says I'm not yours anymore and asks Judy to marry him. Ava breaks her heart and leaves him in tears, and then goes to a bar and orders a double scotch, but while drinking, 
she remembers that she should not start drinking alcohol again and refuses to drink it. Duke meets with Simon and accuses him of trying to kill Ava on purpose and reveals that he found out that the operation in Riyadh was also a setup to kill Ava, as well as the person he sent to kill her is now dead. Simon says that he didn't want to put him in a position to order a murder. Since he is now the boss, he personally took responsibility for this. Duke threatens him to cancel the order to kill Ava, and suddenly, Camille pulls a gun on him and disarms him. The fight starts between them, and Duke falls on the ground during the fight with Simon and kills the bodyguards one by one with the gun. Camille takes the gun from him again, but when Simon arrives, he asks her to stop and leave them alone. Duke stands up, and during a hard fight, Simon wounds him terribly with a knife and kills him. Ava goes home to meet her mother, and they play cards together. While playing, she decides to talk to her mother about the events that happened to her during these eight years and also about her job. Bobby asks her not to do this, she doesn't want to know about it. She admits that she knew about everything eight years ago and knows that any good mother should have left such a man because of his betrayal. However, she admits that she is afraid of being alone. Bobby tearfully admits that she chose him over Ava, and Ava breaks down in tears as she says this. She continues to tell her that her job and past are not important to her. It is important to her that now she sees happiness in her eyes, and that makes her feel proud. Simon takes Duke's half-life body to the lake and, after taking photos and videos, asks him to say his last words before he dies. Duke says to tell Ava he's sorry he's not there to see Simon when she takes his heart out of his chest. Simon laughs and sends him to the bottom of the lake. At night he calls Ava and says that he had to kill Duke because of her. Ava says that if it's true, she will kill him, but he just smiles and tells her the message Duke gave him, then sends her the video and photos of Duke's body. After having dinner at the restaurant, Ava goes to her sister Judy's house. After realizing that she is not at home and she is performing, she immediately kisses Michael to convince him to have sex. But Mike stops and informs that Judy is pregnant. Ava breaks her heart again, leaves crying, and goes to Tony. After knocking out the guard at the entrance, she removes the guards one by one from her way, which causes chaos in the party. Hearing the gunshots, Tony comes out of the room and realizes that the chaos is because of her, so she attacks her and beats her without defending herself. When Ava is punched, she reveals that she has killed 41 people for money and has not told anyone until now. She attacks Tony and tries to choke her because she knows that now she knows her secret. However, she changes her decision and avoids killing her. She throws the money that Michael owes her in front of her, warns her never to disturb her family again, and leaves. Ava goes back to her room in the hotel, goes to the fridge, and she thinks that maybe she wants to start drinking again, so she starts drinking. She turns up the volume of the music and drinks so much that she sits on the floor next to the bed and decides to commit suicide. She laughs and cries. At this moment, Simon enters her room and sees alcohol bottles on her bed. Suddenly, Ava appears, and they shoot each other. Ava attacks him from under the table, and they both disarm each other and get into a physical fight. The fight continued, hard and exhausting, until both stopped fighting, tired and with scarred faces. He admits that she is stubborn, You've got Moxie. and as soon as he hears the sound of the construction, he warns Ava that if he sees her again, he will definitely kill her and leaves there while he unable to walk currently. Ava takes out some money and a gun hidden behind the refrigerator and leaves the hotel. It turns out that she is chasing Simon. A little later, Simon looks behind him and notices that he is being chased by her, so he immediately makes an emergency call and informs that the problem still exists. Simon is forced to land on a sand dune from the bridge, which makes it harder for him to walk, and on the other hand, Ava, following him, finally shoots him in the leg and stops him. She sits next to him. Simon asks her not to do anything to her family and says he understands she wants to do this calmly. Ava says to count to five, but after number one, she kills him by shooting him in the head. Then she goes to her sister's house and warns her to leave the country with Bobby tonight for two or three months until she calls them again. She asks her not to go to the UK or Europe, gives her a bank account number in Switzerland, which is full of money, and asks her to do whatever she says, then hugs her. Michael, who hears her voice, hands her a letter from Duke, and when she leaves, Judy asks her who you are. Ava replies that someone your child should never know her and leaves. At the movie's end. She continues to walk on the street while Simon's daughter Camille seems to be chasing her. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.